An auto attendant is a robust voice services tool that allows you to automatically manage many inbound calls at once without the need of a live telephone operator or receptionist. The attendant can be used to provide callers with general information from audio greetings, allow callers to be transferred to a service or extension by using voice menus, and automatically route calls in your organization based on your business's scheduled work hours. To access auto attendance, Log into your control panel and click the icon for Univerge Blue Connect. Alternatively, you can access Connect from anywhere on the control panel by clicking Services, then clicking Connect. Next, click on the Auto Attendance tab from the left navigation. To the right, you will see a list of any attendants already created. To create a new attendant, click on the Create Auto Attendant button. Set up the auto attendant by giving it a name, an extension number, and assigning a direct dial number. Click on Create Auto Attendant to continue. You will receive a confirmation pop-up advising you of any current fees to be charged at the time of creation and the monthly recurring charge that will be added to your bill. Click Confirm to acknowledge the charges and finish the attendant setup. You will be automatically directed to the newly created auto attendant allowing you to immediately begin configurations. The first page you access are the business hour menus, which contain call routing instructions and schedules that repeat on a weekly basis. On the left are your current menus. The order in which these menus are listed, from top to bottom, dictates the priority that menu has and how it is used in the weekly schedule. You can click the ellipses next to a menu for some additional options. You can edit the menu, disable the menu from being used in the schedule, or delete an unwanted menu. To the right, you can see a visual representation of your current menus, when they start and end. Since we currently have two menus, and working hours is above after hours in the menu list, we can see that during the hours of 8am to 5pm, the working hours menu takes priority, while all other time on the schedule is used by the after hours menu. Before we edit any menus, let's first take a look at the general settings for this auto attendant. If you click the settings button at the top right, you have the ability to quickly update the general auto attendant settings, such as changing the display name, updating the extension number, accessing the auto attendant voicemail, and adjusting the voicemail settings for email notifications. You can also assign additional telephone numbers to the auto attendant on the general settings tab. Click Assign Phone Number, select a number, and click Assign. If there are any applicable fees or charges, you will be notified and must confirm the charges on the Totals pop-up window. Once complete, you will be returned to the Auto Attendant's General Settings tab, and your number will be shown to the right. If you assigned a toll-free number, you can adjust the payment plan for the toll-free service by clicking the text link to the right of the number. Click the link at the top left to get back to the Business Hours page. Back on the Business Hours page, let's click the Working Hours menu to configure our daytime menu. Under Edit Business Hours, we can change the name of the menu or update the schedule for when the menu will be active, such as weekdays with a start and end time, a custom schedule with your own days and times selected, or simply selecting 24-7 to ensure your menu is always running day or night. You can also click the text Enabled under Status to disable this menu when you're editing it, or if you're currently not using the menu in your schedule. The next section of your menu is Menu Options. At the very start of the Menu Options is the Dial by Extension setting. When this is enabled, it allows callers to dial an extension number while they are holding on the auto attendant. This setting is enabled by default, and you can simply click the text link to disable or re-enable the feature at any time. The next setting for this menu is Greeting. There is a menu greeting applied by default that can be used with Dial by Extension. You can preview the greeting by clicking the play button next to the name, allowing you to listen to that current menu greeting without navigating away from the page. The next setting for this menu is Greeting. You can upload a new greeting to the Business Hours menu by clicking the greeting name that is linked. Choose an audio file, 
give it a name, ensure you agree on our policy and limitations, and click the upload button. If you wish to record your greeting from a device, you can simply click the drop-down and select Record Greeting to receive instructions on how to record for this specific menu. The menu options are a physical representation of a phone's dial pad, each box corresponding to a number and appropriate action selected for that option. Clicking a button brings up an edit window for that number, and allows you to select from a list of pre-generated options. You can forward calls to a user, or directly to a user's voicemail, forward calls to a hunt group, or the main company voicemail box, or forward a call to a different auto attendant. You also have the ability to create submenus, allowing you to have another set of menu options for a caller to choose from. When editing an action, click Create Submenu, type in a descriptive name, then click Save Changes. The submenu will be generated, and you will see the option for the submenu is highlighted in blue. Click on the number or name to expand the submenu options for editing. You have the same menu actions that are available in the Business Hours menu, so you can set up a new menu and record a special greeting to direct callers through this submenu. After you've entered your preferred actions, you can click the submenu number or name again to collapse the menu items and view only the main menu settings. Some additional actions you have access to are dial by name directory, forward calls to a PSTN phone number, or finally hang up or disconnect the call. With the actions available, you can personalize each auto attendant and all subsequent menus to fit your business and customer needs, as well as create an expansive automated directory to fine-tune call routing. The timeout setting allows you to adjust the amount of time a caller is provided to choose a menu option before the system performs a default action. You can see the timeout action at the bottom of your menu options. Click the timeout link to access your timeout action configurations. The current timeout is set for 30 seconds. After 30 seconds has elapsed, the auto attendant will route the caller to the timeout action. You can adjust the timeout to perform any of the available menu actions, like forwarding to a hunt group, voicemail, or simply repeating the menu greeting. Once you're done configuring your menu options, click the Two Business Hours link at the top left of the page to return to your auto attendant schedule. The After Hours menu is automatically set up to provide you an alternate menu once your business hours are complete. You can click on the After Hours name to edit the menu settings. Being that this is your After Hours menu, it is not necessary to update the schedule or status of the menu. This menu will always be enabled, and used when there are no other menus scheduled to play. The After Hours menu is meant to help customers that call outside of your business hours. With the actions available, you can easily create routes for different voicemail boxes, or create an option to dial to an outside number for emergency After Hours assistance. You also may want to turn off Dial by Extension, to avoid callers from being able to ring devices after hours. Once you're done configuring your after hours menu, click Two Business Hours to return to your auto attendant schedule. Let's create a new menu to add to our auto attendant schedule. In this example, we will create a lunch menu to route calls to a different endpoint during lunch hours. Click Create Business Hours to create a new business hours menu. Give the menu a name, and select the scheduled time for your lunch hour. Under Menu Options, we have the ability to create a brand new blank menu with the basic greeting and dial by extension settings, or we can clone menu options from a menu that is already created by selecting the menu in the dropdown. This action allows you to copy the menu routing options and greeting over to the new menu, allowing you to quickly configure new menus. You can then re-upload a new greeting and change the schedule to fit your needs. You can click the Show Preview link at the bottom of the page to see how your new menu will look if you copy settings from another menu. You also have the ability to link this menu to an existing menu, again selecting the menu in the dropdown. Linked menus will always share the same menu routing options and greetings, but allows you to set a unique schedule to play the menu at different times of the day. 
for our lunch menu, let's create a new menu, make sure default menu is selected, and click next to create it. You are automatically directed to the new menu, allowing you to immediately enable or disable dial by extension, upload a custom greeting for the lunch menu, create or edit menu options, and select a timeout option. Once you've configured the lunch menu to your liking, click the To Business Hours link to navigate back to the auto attendant business hours schedule. You will see the new menu created on the left hand side under the main menu. The lunch menu is color coded blue, so we can see a visual indication of the menu on the weekly schedule to the right. However, the lunch menu is currently not being used. This is due to the menu priority that is built into the list on the left. By simply dragging the lunch menu above the working hours menu, we are telling the auto attendant that the lunch menu takes higher priority over the working hours menu, allowing for the lunch menu to effectively take over the auto attendant during that scheduled time. We can see this immediately populate the correct scheduled hours on our weekly menu to the right. Now that the business hours, lunch, and after hours menus are configured, let's take a look at how we can add events for holidays and non-business days. Click the events tab above the business hours options. The event menus are call routing instructions that can be scheduled as a one-time event or as a recurring event on a monthly or annual basis. Think of events like holiday menus. They can be used to replace the menu options and greeting for a period of time or an entire day. These events can be scheduled ahead of time to provide a more automated solution adhering to your business schedule. On the left are your current event menus and filters, and on the right is a month-to-month -month calendar that will display events in blue when they occur. You can switch between future and past events, search for an event by name, or only show the events within the current month or a date range of your choosing. Event menus that are already created can be edited by clicking the name or by clicking the ellipses icon and clicking edit. You have additional options to disable the event menu or delete it if it's no longer needed. To add a new event menu, click the add event link. Under add event, you have the option of creating a custom event or adding a national holiday. If you choose to add a national holiday, you will receive a list of national holidays based on the region chosen at the top of the list, with the options being US, Canadian, or Puerto Rican holidays. If you're adding holidays from this list, you have the option to pre-fill the menu options with any of your existing menus, allowing you to quickly edit your new event menu options, or you can choose to link directly to an existing menu, which will load the menu options from the menu you link to. You can also change the routing options of the menu, allowing the menu to play before ringing to a receptionist group, or clicking the link to switch the menu to play after ringing the receptionist group, if, for example, you have a user acting as an on-call operator before reaching the event menu. For now, let's create a custom event by selecting Create a Custom Event at the top of the page. Enter a descriptive name to easily identify the event menu. Next, set up the schedule for the menu by clicking the Not Set link. You can select One Time Event to only play this menu once, selecting the day you need. Or, you can select Recurring Event, which will allow the menu to play once every month, or once every year on the month you select. You can also select day of the week to define which day of the month the event menu will play on. Or select a certain date, assigning a specific day of the month as the event. Lastly, your event menu will default to an all day event. If you only need this menu to play for a certain period of time during the day, you can uncheck this box and input the hours in which you'd like the event menu to be used. Make sure you click the Save Changes button if you make any modifications to the schedule. Next, select if this event will play before or after the receptionist groups. Finally, select the Menu options to create a new menu based off of the previous built menu, or selecting Link to an existing menu. At any time, you can click the Show Preview link at the bottom to see what your selected menu will look like before moving on. Once satisfied with your configurations,
click Next to finish setting up the event menu. You will be taken to Edit Mode for the new event menu created, and can change the greeting or any menu options to configure how this event menu will function during the set schedule. Click Two Events to return to the event menu list. Now that our auto attendant menus are configured, let's take a look at some of the other features we can edit on this auto attendant. Click the To Auto Attendants link at the top left to return to the auto attendant list. On the auto attendant list, you have the additional option of adding a receptionist group to any auto attendant. The receptionist group will allow you to route incoming calls directly to users or devices to ring first, then forward the caller back to the auto attendant menu. Click Add Receptionist Group to continue. Under the General Settings, assign the group an identifying name to easily recognize the group in the control panel on the auto attendant list. Then assign a display name. This name will be tagged to the caller ID information when a user receives a call from the group. Adjust the timeout as you see fit, which will send callers back to the auto attendant menu after that time has elapsed. Finally, you can set a schedule for the receptionist group. This is extremely useful if you might have to change the users receiving the initial calls at different times of the day. You have the option of selecting weekdays only, setting the start and end time that the group should be active, custom, which allows you to include weekends into your hours, and lastly, 24-7, which means the calls will always be forwarded to this group prior to ringing the auto attendant business hours or after hours menu. Click Next to continue setting up your receptionist group. Under the receptionist settings, you can add receptionist agents by clicking Add User. Select any users or resource accounts you want to receive calls and click the Add button. You also have the option of adding a 10-digit phone number as a receptionist allowing you to ring a device on a different service provider or cell phone, if you wish. When you're satisfied with your settings, click Create Receptionist Group. You will be returned to the Receptionist Group list for the auto attendant you are managing, and can see the new group listed with the group name and scheduled hours. You are able to create multiple receptionist groups for every individual auto attendant, each with their own custom schedules and designated receptionist agents, to automatically adjust your initial call routing. For example, if your receptionist take lunch at the same time every day, a receptionist group for the lunch period could be created to forward calls to a different set of users during that time. It is important to remember that groups in this list that are higher in order take precedence over lower groups. This means if your first receptionist group starts earlier than the next group in line, the latter group will not be included in the daily schedule. To correct this, drag the later scheduled group to the top of the list. The page will refresh and the schedule will list the times that the receptionist groups will be active. From the group list, you have the option to enable or disable a group manually. Disabling a group will prevent it from being active during its scheduled hours. Finally, you can delete any receptionist groups created by clicking the delete link and confirming your action. Click To Auto Attendants to return to the auto attendant list. The final option available to auto attendants is the Call Routing Override. This feature allows you to forward incoming calls to a different service or user and temporarily prevent the auto attendant menu from being accessed. Click on the Disabled text link to open the Call Routing Override configurations. This call routing will only occur if the enabled checkbox is checked. Once enabled, you can forward calls to any extension on the account, including users, resources, groups, and other auto attendants. Or you can forward directly to a phone number. Once you've made your selection, click Save Changes to continue. You are returned to the auto attendant list where you can see the call routing override enabled and a quick view of where calls are being forwarded to. To stop the call routing, click the extension number link and uncheck the Enabled checkbox, then click Save Changes.